We have a whole fleet of these oh. over here. So we've got eight of these units. There are two modes that the students had to program it to be able to do. One is a manual sort of etch-a-sketch mode where they can draw things with a fly-by-wire control system, this potentiometer nice. joystick. They can also adjust the height with this potentiometer. All the gears, so gear everything, racks, everything, everything made out of plastic was made on the U-prints. Wow. Right, including this cool roller bearing joint under here, which is made of support material that's all the way. So it's got roller bearings on there as well. So there. And there was an automatic mode where the students had two minutes to be able to print out whatever pattern, shapes, text they wanted on an index card. Fantastic. Can you break up the code? Yeah. Please. So the academic side of this project was to teach students in this mechatronics course how to program stepper motors, EC motors with encoders, and RC server motors, and to understand the pros and cons of using each one of these uh, different types of motors. Fantastic. So all of this code here that the students came up with is being downloaded into this chip, a propeller microcontroller with eight parallel 32-bit processors uh, using these extra peripheral uh, integrated circuit chips like this H-bridge and analog digital converters and a Darlington transistor array to power the system. That's unbelievable. So we have the U prints and we have UVA's Who prints. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the student groups even had their printout print out a picture of a printer. So we've got the 3D plastic printers printing out two dimensional printers, printing out pictures of printers. <laughs> <laughs> that is too cool. That is unbelievable. Thank you.